we see 23 on the clock now, just one score, but it's a massive one. Tyler Wright starts off with an 8.17, and now she's on a roll to back it up. Hard off the bottom, nice tail sliding snap off the top. Tyler digs in, a huge forehand whip off to an epic start as she rips one off the coping and fades that cut back into the pocket again. World number one. A better look at her second opportunity, a cleaner finishing move, and she's going to have Bethany Hamilton in a heavy combination out of the gates here. That is going to be our first nine of the event. Um, it is a gigantic score, perfectly placed, gigantic first turn. Let's take a look. I mean, look at the size of the wave. That first off sets off that it's going to be a great score, and then that first turn lays into it and gets that tail free. Nice mix-up, too, because that was the arc with the carve using the rail. She had the little release on the first turn, so there's variety, combination of major maneuvers. She stayed on rail throughout the entire wave. Gosh, this is going to be a huge score. What an amazing performance, tempo, and rhythm for Tyler Wright. As we get the angle from the water here, what was your favorite part about this wave, Pete? Right there, just showing the bit of release on the size of that wave where she was able to lay into it, and then by the variety, by getting that tail free, and then the second turn, actually almost better turn in my eyes, just because when she gets into this, the, the angle of approach, much more vertical, but she times it perfectly, and then there, see that release, she gets the board up high in the lip to do that turn, and then here in this second turn, where she see buries the rail, see the water go all the way up, almost to the stringer as she lays into it. And then that point, she just kept it on rail. She didn't do the release. So again, showing variety. Oh, come on, boys. You could have gone nine on that. Pete Mel's noticing the scores from the panel, and Pete thought it was into the nines. You were close, Peter. There's two judges that threw 8.8. So you're oh. right in that same conversation of what we call. I need to go walk over there. The, <laughs> the excellent range is what's eight to 10. Back to back eights for Tyler Wright. Hamilton now needing to break a combo of 16.77 with 21 minutes to go. I was throwing guarantees at that one, darn it. I, li I like when you stick your neck out there, Pete. Yeah, well, it just got lopped off, you know. <laughs>